going on YouTube? Now I'm here and I'm back with another banger video today. And yes, look, bro, y'all seen a video, y'all seen a thumbnail and a title. Yes, I'm gonna be telling y'all which is better, pre made or pre order, bro. They're both good in their ways, but I'm gonna be telling y'all which is better, pros and cons. You know what I'm saying? Which one you should be running for your clothing brand specifically. If you guys hit that like button and subscribe, I greatly appreciate it. We're about to hit 2,000 subscribers right now. I'm gonna be telling y'all free sauce in this video, bro. Every single video that you're gonna see with my face in it has sauce in it. Why don't they just watch the sauce, bro? They just don't understand, bro. I'm giving them sauce. Let me know if y'all wanna see some IRL vlogs, like nothing with like clothing brand and stuff, just more of like my life and who I am. I got some, I got some LED lights for like my closet and stuff, like around here. Got the statement pieces right here. Black, blue, purple one, and yeah. Now actually, let's get straight into this video. Not waste no time, know what I'm saying? The pros and cons to running pre order and running pre made, know what I'm saying? First things first, let's get into opinions because y'all probably asking me, oh, what do I think y'all should run? Are you running pre made? Are you running pre order? What should I do? And I'm finna tell y'all my opinion on if you should run pre order and pre made first. I'm not even gonna lie. I feel like it depends on where you are right now. I'm not even gonna lie. If you're beginning your brand, run pre-order without a doubt. Like, don't run pre-made. If you want pre-made beginning your brand, I would only do it if you have like a legit job or something. Like, if you're young and you're just starting a clothing brand and you don't have money, you're trying to save money, I would say start with pre-order because pre-order is like, basically don't have to pay anything with pre-order. So if you don't have any out-of-pocket money or good out-of-pocket money, then I would just say to run pre-order. That's my opinion though. I personally run pre-order. I'm switching to pre-made during the summer so i'm gonna have some pre-made pieces because with pre-order it's like you're not losing any out-of-pocket money so it's no risk at all pre-order there's no like, risk of oh i'm not gonna sell out but only thing is i will say you have to have money for the moq with pre-order you have to have out-of-pocket money no matter what because if you, your manufacturer says you have to order 50 hoodies and you don't have money for 50 hoodies you just can't buy it and you're gonna have to cancel that drop i'm not even gonna lie with you and you don't want that happening I almost had that happen to me and it's a lesson learned. I learned my lesson very good to not drop early. So it's always a risk of not getting orders when you're young. Cause when you're young, it's different. It's not like you could just pull out $500 for 20 hoodies so you could get the bulk. If you don't have a job, especially for my younger people and you gonna have to find like a side hustle or something until you get a job. But if you got a job and you good, you got money in your pockets, you good. You don't got to worry about the MLQ or nothing. You could just pay that and then boom. I would say you go to pre-order, pre-made definitely if you're not worried about MLQ or if your product is gonna sell anymore. I would know like because every drop I get over like 100 right so I would buy 100 stocks because I know I could sell that out. With pre-made don't get a thousand hoodies if you usually only sell like, 200 bro. So if you know your brand could get a thousand orders easily then get a thousand hoodies. And I would say also to run pre-order if like you want the most amount of money because pre-order is just so easy. Well, now let's get into the facts right. In my opinion I told y'all if, if you're just starting out then do pre-order obviously people will understand why it takes so long. If you're bigger, if you could do pre-made, do pre-made. Pre-made is like 10 times better though. Right, so let's get into the facts. What should you order? Pre-made or pre-order? You know what I'm saying? The pros and cons. I'm gonna go to the pre-order pros first. So the first pro is that it generates a lot of interest into your drop. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're doing a pre-order drop, it's like, oh, it's a lot of buzz going to like this one day. So like if you're posting a lot saying that you're dropping on April 1st, everybody's gonna know you're dropping on April 1st. So it creates like a big drop. You know what I'm saying? It brings the excitement to the table. That's what I like about pre-order. Drop. People be getting excited for my drops because they know it's exclusive and they know that like you can't get it again. Basically, they're gonna get the email marketing, they're gonna get the SMS, they're gonna sign up for all of that because they can't wait for it. It generates so much buzz around your brand, and it's honestly crazy how pre-order drops can do. Dude, one pre-order drop could go crazy. Like literally, I'm saying if you do a pre-order drop, you sell a thousand hoodies on your pre-order, then you could get a thousand hoodies. But if you was do a thousand hoodies pre-made and you don't have a thousand hoodies, then you're not gonna sell out. So a pre-order is an unlimited amount of money you can make. It's literally a time frame amount of money so let's say you drop on april 1st you're making money from april 1st to like whenever you drop i would say i would say to leave a pre-order open from like five to six days i wouldn't do like a full week like monday to sunday i would just do nothing longer than a week you want to get your product out fast so you can start that two to four week shipping yes two to four week shipping bro that's the bad thing about pre-order drops bro pre-order drops be killing me bro how am i waiting two to four weeks for my hoodie bro honestly like that's the one thing i hate about pre-order drop you could literally sell out any amount and i would say leave the time frame to like no more more than a week you want to get those hoodies out fast you want to start that shipping fast so your customer
customers will be happier and more pleased. Know what I'm saying? Cause yeah, at the end of the day, it's all about pleasing your customers. It's all about making your customers happy. All about the customers, bro. You right here. It's all about the customers, bro. The customers are you. You're not nothing without the customers. And another thing too is that with pre-order, you get the money basically beforehand. You know what I'm saying? If y'all don't know what pre-order is, pre-order is where you hype up a drop and a drop lasts for a week. And the, during the drop, you could buy the hoodie, you could buy anything, but it's only limited to that drop. Like, let's say, cause I dropped these hoodies. I dropped those hoodies from Monday to Friday. I ended it on Friday and now the site's closed and stuff. Once the drop is finished, place the order you got with the money that you got from the drop. Let's say you get 500 orders, right? You use the money from the 500 orders to place the bulk order with your manufacturer. So it's not even like you're taking money out your bank account. It's literally like, oh, I'm taking the money, putting it right here. I'm keeping some, but I'm giving some to my manufacturer. Basically, that's what pre-order drop is. If you didn't know, now you know. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know what pre-order drop if you're just starting out. But if you know what pre-order drop, you know what pre-order drop is. I ain't gonna lie, and that's honestly what I love about pre-order drops is that like I have my money right there and then. I don't want to wait to make all my money back. I want to have my money right there and then. If I drop the hoodies, I want the money there, bro. I don't want to wait to sell out. I just want to have the max amount of money I could get on a drop. And yeah, literally, that's the only two good things that's like better than pre-made. I would say is that you could like you could max out the orders because you can get a limited amount of orders. I ain't even gonna lie. With pre-order, you get a limited amount, but with pre-made, it's limited. You know how much money you will make if you sell out. But with pre-order, you don't know how much money you're gonna make. You can make higher than a thousand. You can make twenty thousand. You can make a hundred thousand. Make fifty thousand. You can make anything, bro. On a pre-order job, you can make anything. But pre-made, you know what you're gonna make because you have to calculate all of that. That's for the pros of the pre-order job. Now let's get into the cons. And the first bad thing, bro, is shipping time, bro. I hate the shipping time. The shipping time is so bad, bro. Shipping, waiting two to four weeks, that whole thing. People have normalized it. I'm not even gonna lie. It's kind of normal now for people to do pre-order jobs. People wait in two to four weeks, but I personally don't like it because like I shouldn't like having my customers wait that long. There's nothing I could do about that. I ain't even gonna lie. I want my hoodies right now. I want to ship them out right now. That's just the type of person I am. I don't want to like have my customers waiting months. And if something goes wrong with production, like then it's just going to get delayed. Like, cause I'm promising my, my customers like two to four weeks shipping. But then the second week will come and my hoodie's still not here and they just started production. So they, if they start production late, it just depends on your manufacturer. That's why you need a good manufacturer if you're running pre-orders because you can't mess up production. That's why everybody is so heavy on samples because samples when you can see your product. And two, you could be on the right page with your manufacturer on what they're supposed to make pre-order drop could go as bad as it can go as good bro like as good as they get like you might get a mad orders like a thousand orders but if your manufacturer mess up then you're done you're gonna get mad charge back you make sure you have a good manufacturer that's why the manufacturing part is the most like you know what I'm saying you want to trust your manufacturer but I want my manufacturer my manufacturer be going crazy and matter of fact let me show y'all something my bulk is being done right now you sent me this update on my bulk I want my manufacturer hit that link down below go on my Instagram text me on Instagram I'll get you on my manufacturer you gotta pay I'm charging for my manufacturer. Yes, bro. So yeah, that's only one of the cons, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. Another con is customer dissatisfaction. Your customer, I'm telling you, pre-order drops, you gonna like be like. Are you gonna get annoyed low key you gonna get annoyed because one your customers you maintain all your customers and you don't want to lose any customers so if your customer doesn't know that the shipping is like two to four weeks you just gotta explain to them how pre-order works if someone simply just doesn't explain gonna be a lot of people texting you talking about where's my order where's my order where's my order i got a lot of people texting me where, where their order is you don't want to be disrespectful to anyone because again they're ordering from you they don't have to order from you, you just want to explain to them what the situation is if your thing is delayed they will understand just tell them communicate Communication is key, bro. You want to give them updates. Don't just ghost them, bro. Don't just go live. Don't just drop and then just don't give no updates, bro. Because that's going to lead to chargeback. So yeah, you always want to respond fast to your customers. Respond fast. You know what I'm saying? Explain to them the situation. When is it going to get shipped? Don't lie to them either. If you don't know if it's going to get shipped tomorrow and you say tomorrow, make sure to tell them when you know something for sure. Because I gone through that one time. I told this customer that his stuff was coming like this week, but the manufacturer delayed it last second. Like as soon as I texted, bro, yo, it's going to ship this week it got delayed and i have to explain to him basically what happened but that hasn't happened in a minute but yeah but if you good to your customers you're gonna be good bro i'm telling you treat your customers like it's your family and also another thing is like calculating everything i'm not, not gonna lie because some people might see it as like hard work but you're gonna have to calculate the shipping times the prices and like basically when your hoodies are gonna come and like what to tell because you can't say oh one to two day shipping on shopify but then it takes two to three weeks so you want to like make it known that it takes two to three weeks or however long your manufacturer like like you want to put everything into like place like a timeline so let's say my shipping takes two to three weeks right 
the first week is the drop the second week is where i put in the manufacturer and then the third week is when this getting productive and then towards the beginning of the fourth week that's when i get them actually and i start shipping them out so i start shipping them out by the fourth week you gotta calculate like basically what your time is what your timeline is because that's basically what mine is everybody's gonna be different some people might take one to two weeks two to three weeks three to four weeks like whatever it's gonna take as many time as your manufacturer needs because they got your hoodies they running they basically running your junk that's for pre-order drops and pre-order cons pros and cons i basically just give y'all like a lot of information if y'all want just go back in the video if you miss something if you want me to explain anything better drop down below in the comments and yeah let's get into pre-made pre-made got some good pros but it also got its bad cons everything is good but it also got its bad pieces as well yeah let's get into pre-made I right, so the pros and cons of pre-made drops. Pre-made, if y'all don't know what pre-made is, pre-made is basically where you have the inventory in hand. Basically like all these big companies do and they ship out in one to two days or one to two weeks, you know what I'm saying? Depending on what shipping you get, it ships out in one day, two days, next day, like, you know what I'm saying? It's fast shipping time. That's what people know it by, know, know what pre-made by. Fast shipping, you ship out the next day. You have it in a warehouse or your house or your room. You have all the inventory in hand. You get the orders, you, as soon as you get the orders, you pack and you ship it out there's no wait for manufacturer you just already have the products in hand so as soon as they place the order you ship out that's what pre-made is and there's a lot of pros to pre-made you know what i'm saying pre-made is very good if you could do it it's very good i suggest doing it if you could if you could do it do it it gets a lot of orders but i would say do pre-made like get a lot of inventory first because if you sell out 50 hoodies, you're not gonna make that much money. Let's say you're a big brand, right? And you usually sell a thousand hoodies, but if you only get 50 hoodies, then that's not gonna make sense, you know what I'm saying? Because you wanna get the hoodies that you usually sell out on. Because let's say on drops, you usually get 200 to 300 hoodies. So you wanna estimate about how much you think you will get, and you don't wanna get too much inventory because you get too much inventory, then that's just losing money. But it's a long-term investment because if you just have inventory all the time, then anybody can make checkouts to your store. That's why inventory is good to have inventory so you're always making money, like you could be out making money and you come home and then ship it out that's why pre-made is basically so good and that's why it's like you get bread off of pre-made that's why customers would rather have pre-made than pre-order because shipping times is less that's the best thing about pre-made pre-made is customers are always satisfied because they order it comes the next day that's gonna make them want to buy more because a customer might be like oh it takes two to four weeks i might not be home in four weeks so i'm not gonna cop or they could be like oh i don't want to wait that long for a hoodie that's too much for a hoodie i don't want to wait that long and they might not order so that's losing money for you you don't want to lose money in a clothing brand you don't lose money that's not the goal here the goal Goal is to make money and to build yourself. You know what I'm saying? You want to build yourself up and you want to build your brand up. That's the whole point of all of it. That's like the main point. Build yourself up, build your brand up. Whatever drives you, drives you. Whatever drives me, drives me. So yeah, like I was saying earlier, is predictable demand. Basically, you already know what you're gonna make and you already know how much hoodies you need. You don't need like a huge timeline. You just need. Oh, I'm gonna sell. 500 hoodies. Um, I usually sell 600 hoodies, but I'm gonna get 500. I'm gonna drop it on Friday and I'm gonna sell those 500 hoodies. You sell the 500 hoodies and you know how much you're gonna make. Cause let's say 500 hoodies, that's like 10K and you make 10K. Oh, you made 10K profit off of 500 hoodies. So you know how much you're gonna make. It's like a set in stone. Like you get 500 hoodies, you know how much profit you're gonna make from that. Instead of pre-order, where pre-order is you don't know how much you're gonna make. You need a timeline. You need like to like plan everything out beforehand. Pre-made, you don't gotta do that. Just drop it, promote, and people will buy. You ship it out same day, next day, whatever your brand offers, whatever is best for you. That's predictable demands. You know what I'm saying? I talked about that earlier in the video too as well. If y'all need me to comment on that more, let me know in a comment down below. But yeah, that's all the pros it's just good overall to do pre-made for your customers and it's just a cleaner setup don't take long you don't gotta wait for your manufacturer you don't have the risk of your hoodies being messed up and you lose out on money it's good if you know like what you're gonna make because if you know like you're gonna make 50 hoodies then get 50 hoodies don't get like an od amount that you know you probably won't sell out because there's no way you're just starting out and you're ordering 500 hoodies why are you ordering 500 hoodies if you're just if you just started yesterday my boy Sign out, let me stop. But yeah, why is you ordering 500 hoodies if you just started yesterday? It don't make sense. Just be realistic with yourself. Do you think you will sell out that amount? If you just want to keep inventory, that's good. You can keep inventory. But if you want to save money and you want to like use as little as money as possible, just estimate how much orders you usually get if you like ran pre-order before. Just estimate how much orders you think you will get and you're going to be good for pre-made, my boy. I want to see you do your first pre-made drop, bro. I've never done pre-made in my life, bro. I'm 
you gonna lie, bro. My shorts want to be pre-made. I want my shorts to be pre-made because I don't want to wait no two to three to three to four weeks for some shorts, bro. Like nobody is waiting on that, bro. So let's get into the cons of pre-made, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of good stuff, there's a lot of bad stuff, pros and then cons, but it's equal, it balances out. That's why you really gotta sit here and listen to what I'm saying and take in all the information that I'm telling you right now so you can make the choice if you wanna run a pre-order or pre-made. If pre-made is literally what you would never wanna do, then don't do that. If you decide to not do pre-order, then don't do that. Whatever is best for you, you know what I'm, I'm just here to help y'all. I'm just here to help y'all, you know what I'm saying? So the first con everybody knows is inventory risk. Will I sell out or not? Inventory risk is basically where, you know what I'm saying? It's a risk, you're taking a risk because you don't know for sure you're gonna sell out any hoodie. You don't know that for sure until the customer buys it. You could do estimates like, oh, if you did it before, you could have great guesses, but you don't, nobody knows for sure if they're gonna sell something out because it, you only know when your customer buys it. I've seen a lot of people think that their order is gonna do good they get a lot of pre-made hoodies, but then they literally don't sell out, bro. And now they're sitting on inventory that they can't sell, losing money. Another thing is cash flow. Big investment with your brand, but it's also a good investment. It's like you can get good return on it. If you don't know, with pre-made drops, you have to buy it like before you drop. It's pre-made. So let's say you're spending $5,000 on some inventory. If you don't sell out, then you're down $5,000. You know what I'm saying? So you sell with your out-of-pocket money or any money that you have. You buy the inventory with the money that you have and just hope it sell out you know what i'm saying you get ads help it sell out and market it to sell out if you need help marketing there's a card right here y'all can click that and yeah it's gonna be how to market you know what i'm saying because i've been i uploaded a few marketing videos y'all go click my channel good amount of feedback on it but yeah cash flow you basically you don't know it's like everything is up front with pre-made because it's pre-made that's why i like balances and scales out more do you want to pay up front and have a risk of losing all that money for your customers to be satisfied like that and have that one to two day shipping or like do you want to run pre-order and like have like an unlimited amount of orders you can get and not just a set amount and make the most money that you can but with that it's two to four week shipping so it like balances out there's good there's bad it's just literally whatever you prefer whatever is best for you whatever you think will help your brand the best and another thing is is missed opportunities customers will instantly just ask for a restock because if you sell out and you don't have no more inventory then you just don't have no more inventory you can't sell no more that's why i was saying that it's a set amount you have to have a set amount of like orders you you say you want to get so you can't get like unlimited amount where like everybody could order during a week but like everybody could order during a week anybody if you miss it you had a week to order it but if it sells out fast that's missing money that you could have made with pre-order again do you want to sacrifice that with a two to four week shipping no, i'm just saying but yeah that's overall the pros and cons to pre-made and pre-order i personally run pre-order i am going to run pre-made during the summer though because i want to have the good shipping time but yeah with hoodies it's pretty regular to run pre-order because it's so normal now like it's normalized running pre-order it used to not be normalized because people used to think oh it's crazy paying two to four weeks waiting that long for a hoodie but yeah i would say it just depends on who you are what you want to do in your life i gave y'all all these pros and cons i gave y'all the tips of what i personally think and what i personally do so yeah if you still don't know what to do shoot me a dm on ig i'll help you out make sure everybody hit that like button subscribe this is the end of the video yeah we sadly didn't hit 2k during this video but we'll probably hit it next next video so yeah when this video is over i'll probably be at 2,000 subscribers already i just want to appreciate everybody for the love and support and yeah i was gonna say hope y'all all doing well comment down below what you want to see next and yeah i'm out